Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Learn. Today we are going to learn about neonatal resuscitation. Before moving towards the content, let's see the objective first. So here we will be learning what is neonatal resuscitation, what is the incident percentage, what are the rapid assessing parameters for neonatal resuscitation, when to start the resuscitation. So what is neonatal resuscitation? Neonatal resuscitation is also known as newborn resuscitation. It is an emergency procedure performed on a newborn baby who do not readily begin breathing. This situation can put them at the high risk of irreversible organ injury or even can lead to death. Here, to stimulate the lungs of baby, positive airway pressure is given. It helps the baby to begin breathing on their own, whereas in severe condition, chest compression is given. It helps to normalize the heart rate. Moving towards the incident, approximately 10% of newborns require some assistance to begin breathing at birth, whereas less than 1% require extensive resuscitation such as cardiac compression and medication. So. How can we know when to start the resuscitation? Newborn infant who do not require resuscitation can be generally identified upon delivery by rapidly assessing the answer of following three questions. Tom gestation. It means whether the baby have completed 39 to 40 week of gestation or not. Whereas the another question is good tone. Here the examiner will be looking for good muscle tone, whether the muscles are fluffy or not. The next is breathing or crying. Here the examiner will be looking for whether the baby is pale or not, cyanosis is present or not, and heart rate is less than 60 breath per minute or not. After rapidly assessing the baby, if the answer to all three questions is yes, the newborn baby do not need resuscitation. But if the answer to any of these questions is no, then the newborn baby might need resuscitation. Moving on to the algorithm for neonatal resuscitation. Here, once the baby is delivered, approximately 60 seconds are crucial phase for the baby. It is also known as the golden minute. Initial assessment and care must be delivered within this time frame. Within this time, as a healthcare person, you need to carry out a rapid assessment on gestational age, breathing or crying pattern, and a good tone. Within this three rapid assessing question, if you get the answer yes, then the routine care of newborn can be started. Unlike if the answer to your question is no, then you have to maintain the thermoregulation of baby by providing warmth and keeping the baby dry. Whereas, your way should also be clean and stimulation should be given. Furthermore, if the heart rate is within the normal range, but the baby has the feature of labored breathing, persistent cyanosis, then oxygen saturation should be monitored. Your way passes should be clean and baby is kept on continuous positive your way pressure. After that, post resuscitation care is given to the newborn. However, if the heart rate is below 100 and gasping or cyanosis is evident during evaluation, then the newborn is kept under positive pressure ventilation with continuous monitoring of oxygen saturation. After doing so, if the heart rate is normal, then post resuscitation can be given to the baby. If not, ventilation correction steps should be taken. However, if the heart rate is below 100 and gasping or cyanosis is evident during evaluation, then the newborn is kept under positive pressure ventilation with continuous monitoring of oxygen saturation. After doing so, if the heart rate is normal, then post-resuscitation can be given to the baby. If not, 
ventilation correction steps should be taken even if the baby is still not responding to given care and the heart rate further declines to 60 or even less than that intubation must be considered chest compression should be started with positive pressure ventilation if the heart rate further continue to remain below 60 breath per minute injection epinephrine is given Perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation with administration of injection epinephrine until the baby revive. Note: Targeted SpO2 after birth is 60 to 65 percent within one minute, 65 to 70 percent within two minute, 70 to 75 percent within three minute, 75 to 80 percent within four minute, 80 to 85 percent within five minute and 85 to 95 percent within 10 minutes of birth. This guideline applies primarily to newly born infant transitioning from intrauterine life to extrauterine life. However, this is also applicable to neonate who require resuscitation during the first week after birth. After completion of neonatal resuscitation, resuscitation care should be given because baby's vital can deteriorate at any given moment and babies should be kept in close monitoring. So, to sum up, Neonatal resuscitation is a life-saving procedure done by healthcare personnel in order to stimulate the breathing pattern of newly born baby. Delayed response during the procedure is not acceptable. That's all about neonatal resuscitation. If you haven't seen our video on neonatal tetanus and heart attack, the link is given on the description below. Thank you for watching our video. If you find it useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.